Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. This might be one of the shorter videos I do, but I wanted to share with you the ARC menu. So if you are running the GNOME slash GNOME desktop, I think you're going to find this menu interesting. Now it's an extension, and actually I should have had this pulled up already. So let's get that loaded here because I want to give credit where credit is due to LinksGem33. LinksGem33, we appreciate your work here on this extension. Uh, this is based off of the Zorn OS menu, so if you've run Zorn in the past, it'll look familiar to you. And also, I'll just add that if you're running Windows 7 or have run Windows 7 in the past, you're going to find it very easy to navigate uh, because of the layout being fairly close to what you'd find in Windows 7. So there's some added benefits uh, with this extension in that you get quick access to the folders and things like that. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, but you'll simply toggle the extension on and then they do mention that you'll probably will want to reboot to activate the extension. Now there's a couple of things that I really like about Arc Menu. One is it works very well with Dash to Dock as well as Dash to Panel. Now I have Dash to Panel set up here so let's jump over here and take a look. You've got your main categories here on the left, so if you click in, you'll get the list of the applications, and you can hit back. Here at the bottom, you've got a search, so we could quickly launch into Chromium there. And then over on the right, you've got user account, whoever is logged in currently, quick access to your home folder, documents, downloads, etc., and then we have quick access to settings, software, and activities overview. Now you'll notice here that activities overview you can't see the full word here because it's it's just the size of the font so that's an area I've noticed when you change from theme to theme the font size will increase or decrease depending on the theme that you have in place so maybe for future releases you'll have an option to adjust the font size I think that would be a nice addition here also I'd like to see the addition of a setting that would let you go in and choose which categories you see in the uh, main category listing here. So for example, I'm currently not doing any programming so I could remove that from the list. But overall it works very well. It's, it seems to be very fast um, and I think for someone new to uh, the GNOME desktop environment this would be, especially if they come from Windows 7, uh, I think this would be a nice extension for someone to set up and I will certainly have this in my top list of extensions. I think with some added improvements or adjustments, right now you, what you see is what you get. Um, there's, there's really no settings that you can go in and adjust. Uh, and then here at the bottom, I don't want to miss this, so you can shut down, log out, uh, lock the screen, so on and so forth. So you've got the, really all the controls you need here without having to go over here and, and choosing the same options. So I think this is this is in the making to be one of I would say a top rated application launcher for the GNOME slash GNOME desktop. Well, hope this helps, and I'd like to hear back from you if you've used this um, or just your thoughts on this. So uh, please make some comments below. Look forward to it. That's it for now. We'll check you later.